Hey, it's me. I'm back again. John Riley. Coming to you from sunny South Florida. Um, I'm using a different file this time. I'm using this safe edge triangular type of file. And I'm doing a full skip 25 inch steel chain. First thing I'm going to do, if you can see me, is take this um, 3 16 file and I'm going to knock down the edge of the tooth, if you can see it, right here, so I don't screw my square file up. So I want to just get rid of some of the side of the tooth. So I'm just going to kind of cruise around like this and knock it down. That'll help save the file a little bit. Can you see that? All right. Now, I just saw a kick-ass video of these guys. I think they're French or something. They do these videos with these square files and they kick ass. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and do this. I'm just gonna cruise along so I'm not destroying my file against the, the edge of that tooth so much. You know, if you wanna make your file last a minute, because they're usually around 12 bucks a piece. Plus they're hard to find right now. If anybody knows where to get Valrobi files, please leave a contact. I need to get a shitload of them. I know it seems like I'm filing a lot. Steel chains are a little bit of a mother because they're harder, definitely harder than Oregon. So they, they do a little more damage to the file for sure. All right, then I'm gonna take this 730 seconds, I believe, and I'm just gonna cruise in towards the tooth. I'm going to do it like this so you can see it. So I'm going on an angle, so when I end up below in the gullet, it's still got that same angle, so to speak. Let's clear that shit off, all right? You see, if you can see that, can you see that? That's what it ended up looking like. This is what it looked like prior to that. I'll beat the shit, and then that's what it ends up looking like. And it Believe me, in the cut makes a huge, huge, huge difference. I know. It's the same old song and dance, but with a different style file. You know what I mean? And then I've got actually another style of Varobi. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Varobi file. That's really nice, and I really like it. I like the finished product from it as well. And that file is this one. It's got this little tip at the end. And it seems like these live a long time, too, in comparison to um, the other type of files. Well, let me go over this tooth with this one and just see the finished product. I think it comes out a little bit cleaner. I remember when Safe Edge was the, the only file that was you could get that was worth a shit. And now it's all gone to that Varobi style file. Um, now, even with my glasses, I can't read it. It's all scratched up. Anywho, oh yeah, it came out. I just touched it with that file and it cleaned it way up. Sometimes you can do that. Even after you file it, you just kind of go over it and you find it, which direction to go in. See how it cleaned that up? It's kind of got a little bit of a round, goofy file type of look to it. But um, that joker will be really, really nice. Even with that beak on it, it'll be nice. If, as long as you don't cut the raker too low. I kind of nicked the raker. You see that? But um, I'll do another tooth. Let me do another tooth in the other direction. Shit, I already did the other side. All right, well, let me just do one more tooth. Okay. Can you see that tooth? right there. This is what we'll do. I lock it down in my duck bill vice grips. This file's beat the shit, except it's still sharp from here to here. So I'm going to just go ahead, even though I wouldn't file a chain with this, I'm using it for grunt work. Knock this metal down a little bit. You can even take this safe edge goofy file and start your shape. This is what I like to do a lot of times. I just come in start that like so 
Can you see that? Just to kind of get things rolling, and then I knock that edge down. Now, what I'll do is I'll use that Virobi file, and I'll just I'll do the tooth with this, and it fits right in the groove. Beautiful, especially for guys that aren't you know they're kind of beginners. Um, I would highly suggest getting some safe edge, eight inch goofy files. I use these for a lot of different things. Um, to, to help you get started, and then your square filing, filing won't be so hard, you know? So I'm just gonna kinda cruise along. Not pressing too hard, I'm just letting the file do the work. Knock the shit out of it. Okie dokie, 730 seconds. I'm cruising in like this. Starting all the way at the tooth. Because I want to kind of cruise that gullet down a little bit to open it up, give it a little more breathing room to clear the chip. Oh yeah, she came out like um. Can you see that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Put this baby in front of here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, this is just for work, so. Even though it's pitched forward a little bit, that's just fine. I'm trying to hold it steady. A little is a lot. Yeah. Now that sucker is going to eat some freaking wood. And there it is. So anyway, that's my filing for today. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, here's my chicken, my neighbor's chicken. Where's she at? This bird is a pain in my ass. If I can get this camera to freaking, here we go. Yeah, she's cool. She had two brothers, she had two sisters and they both, one got killed by a pit bull and the other one just died of natural causes. But this bird, she hears me over here working. She flies over that eight-foot fence and comes running over here because I feed her whole wheat bread and corn and shit. And then when I'm in here watching TV, she'll sit on this freaking thing and watch TV with me. It's funny. She tries to walk in the house, but I don't let her. I don't want birds shitting in my house. But anyway, quick look at my beautiful Croton garden. Look at that one. Wow. Isn't that special? Look at these bad boys. I forget what these are called. Um... Yellow-breasted sapsuckers. No, I don't know. I really like the shit out of this one. This is going to be freaking... Look at these leaves, man. It's like... Badass. It's different colors. That's pretty intense, isn't it? I don't know if you guys up north have anything like this. But, um... I'm trying to do the whole thing. I keep getting stuff. My friend Matt, um... Fuck! Brought me some... Of these crotons. These are some... Like these supposedly get five feet tall. They're like weedy looking thin crotons. They're pretty cool looking. They get more colorful too as they get bigger. Yes, sir, they do. This is the one. This is growing like crazy. Look at all the new growth. I dug this out with the chainsaw. I cut the legs on it. And then I dug it out with my um I'll show you what I used. I know I go from one thing to another, but anyway. Um this is a brand new awning for my front. I got $185, I think was a pretty good deal. I want to get it before they didn't have it. I got this son of a bitch for like $100. And that thing digs out shit like you wouldn't believe, man. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Man, get the saw back. Ah! Anyhow, what else is new? Nothing, this saw is new. This is a bad bitch. I'm gonna put a big bar on it and do a big cut. It feels like she's making some serious power, decent power anyway. I get a little over dramatic sometimes. I cleaned this area yesterday. It took me like an hour, a little over an hour. I sanded this block. This thing was completely rough. I put my initials in it. This thing looked like the bottom. That's what it used to look like. And then um, I just sanded it real quick. And I got to do this is how I do my garage. I can't clean the whole thing at once because it's overwhelming. I clean these fuckers were completely full of dust and crap and shit. And then I use that Honda spray polish on them and they come out like new again. My little Dremels and I weeded out my files. It was just a big pile of whatever. And I cleaned my little thing off here too. 
My neighbor gave me this. I love it. This is where I keep my, um, on my chainsaw, 192 parts and shit, like the smaller handle over saws, and, and obviously my sandpaper's there. This is my sandpaper drawer, too. Got all kinds of sandpaper. My sandpaper scissors. Got to sharpen them bitches all the time because they get dull. My other neighbor gave me this cart. They're like, hey, you want this cart? I'm like, absolutely. Any way to save space. And then my friend Steve gave me this from Metrotech with the stones on it. It's got a green stone and a diamond stone. And um, up, I imagine this is a pretty pricey grinder. It's definitely not Chinese. That's for damn sure. Yep, made in the good old US of A. This baby is smooth as silk. It's got these little guards. So you don't need to use safety glasses. No, you have to use safety glasses. That would be crazy not to. I got that one. And what else can I yak about since I'm on five cups of coffee? Yeah, I made this tabletop, which we talked about the other day. I really like it. I've been making cutting boards out of the same type of wood. People love it. Which I sell them for like 100 bucks a piece. Um, takes like a couple hours of sanding and making them real nice. So it's a little bit of labor. And that's that. Yep, my friend Matt saw. We're going to take this 20-whatever-inch bar off and put a 20-inch bar. This is why he hates this saw, because it's got this big-ass bar on it. And he never needs the big bar. So we'll put a small bar on it with a nice square ground chain on it for him. Yep, these are great saws. I love these things. 391, super freaking light. I'll clean it up for him. All that shit. He was over here bitching about his girlfriend problems. I said, you need to get rid of her. She's going to get you arrested from the sound of things. But anyway, thanks for watching.